Hey friends, welcome into my makeup love office. I am here today as promised with my first simple daytime look using my new Celeste products. Now, if you're confused and thinking, wait a minute, um, she uses Unique, what is she talking about Celeste for? Go back to the video before this one and you will see my announcement about Celeste, why I decided to start um, representing and selling this more budget-friendly line in addition to new Unique, um, and why I'm so excited about it because it is Leaping Bunny certified. And if you're not sure what that means, I explained that in the prior video as well. Now, I've already used my moisturizer and my primer, so let's get started with this foundation. And I'm gonna have to use my glasses to look at this. Um, this is the Total Cover 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer, and this is SPF 15. So I'm gonna go ahead, this has a pump spray, or pump um, top. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do like two pumps of this. That should do my whole face. I really, I've tried this before. I really like, this is the Cool Sand color. I like this color. I like that it has SPF 15 in it. It blends, I think, really easily. It is a full coverage and yet it's very lightweight. Doesn't feel heavy. Doesn't feel cakey at all. I think it's a good match for my skin. I don't think it looks super different from my neck. And yet I think it gives me just enough coverage over those areas of my face where I need just a little bit more, a um, little bit more coverage. I'm gonna put just a dab more right here on some of my dark spots. Just cause I wanna give that a little bit of extra coverage right there a little bit up in here apologize for the beagles barking i'm sure they see see or hear something out the window we live in the country and so there's always something okay there we go so great coverage love it very budget friendly. This is about half the price of the Unique Foundation. Um, I still think it does a fantastic job. Um, it does not have the skincare in it that you're gonna find with the Unique Foundation, the Serum Plus. So it is missing that. However, for my gals that want just a simple um, foundation, this does has, have SPF in it though. Um, this is a great choice, very budget friendly. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at blush. I'm gonna be using this one today. This is the, and let me read this to you. This is the Nude Look Baked Trio Face Powder Compact. Okay, and it's got your blusher, your bronzer, and your highlighter all in one compact. And I'm gonna use um, a small brush so that I can get each color individually. I'm gonna start with my blush here, grab some of that color. And I'm gonna put that in a little bit higher, right up in here. A little bit more peachy color than I would normally use. I bought along with my um, kit, I bought uh, an extra little kit called the Nudes and this came in that. So it is very um, all nude shades. Not what I would normally choose, but I will say I do really like it. It's very peachy, but I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad at all. So there's the blush on there. I'm gonna grab a little bit of contour and that's gonna go right here underneath. Now I'm gonna go back with my Kabuki brush. I'm gonna blend that in. There we can see it's giving my face some definition there. I'm also gonna add just a little bit of this up here at the hairline. Almost like I would a contour. Again, I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna blend that in really good. And 
then finally, clean this brush off a bit. I'm gonna go back with a little bit of this highlighter. Uh, yeah, that's really pretty. Look at that. That's a really pretty highlighter. I think this will be perfect for summer. Very golden glow. All right. Okay. Now let's move on to, um, I am going to cheat just a little bit and use a few um, products that are not Celeste today just because I either haven't purchased them yet or um, I'm using up some of my older stuff. You know, I love the e.l.f. brow gel. Celeste does have a brow gel, and I do believe I have some on order, but it hasn't arrived yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the e.l.f. that I already have. Just to fill in those brows, cover up those white and gray hairs. Let's move on to eyes. I am going to use two of my cream shadow sticks. Um, these are the um, Moodstruck shadow sticks from Unique. I have the um, medium taupe matte and the gray taupe. Let me give you these exact color names. The um, taupe is actually called Inquisitive and the gray is actually called Talented. I'm gonna use those two first. I'm gonna use this medium brown on my lid from inner corner to about two thirds of the way over. Just as sort of a base layer. I'm gonna just blend that in with my finger. Super daytime neutral look today. Then I'm gonna take the gray, I'm gonna go right here above the crease of my eye towards the outer corner and swoop that color around. There we go. I'm gonna take this crease, this fluffy crease brush I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna blend that in really well so that you really can't see any lines of definition there. All right, and now I'm going to take this eyeshadow that I did get from Celeste. This is called the Nude Look Pearl Baked Eyeshadow in Ivory. Take a look at this color. There we go, love this color. It's very shimmery. I wouldn't call that ivory, I would call that more gold. But I'm going to use this same fluffy crease brush and grab that. That's gonna go right here on the inner corner of my eye over to not quite the middle. Now I know a lot of gals use their finger for this part. Not a big fan. Seems like if I get it on my finger, I always get it on my clothes. There we go, there's a little better. Wasn't really getting enough on the brush there. There we go. 
And now, of course, I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna take a little bit of setting spray. Get that damp. I'm gonna take just a little bit more of this foundation concealer combo, and I do mean a very tiny bit. Go from the corner of my eye up towards my brow. Pat that color in so that I don't have any excess eyeshadow coming down and around. I don't want that to look like it's pulling down because that is definitely going to age me. Oh, and I forgot to use that gray. Oh, that's not the gray. I also wanna use this and run just a little bit right here underneath my lower lashes. All right, let's grab some mascara. I'm going to use this False Lashes Full Body Volume and Length Instant Lift Up Mascara on the right. And then just for fun, I'm gonna use the Full Volume Definitive Mascara on the left. I'm gonna show you the difference in these brushes, which I'm learning after some training and after quite a bit of study that the brush makes a huge difference. And the brushes are for completely different purposes. I did not know this. So this one you'll notice has a very long slender brush. And I honestly think I get much better coverage and definition. I get much better separation with this brush. And I had no idea that the type of brush made such a big difference because it depends on what your natural lashes are like, whether they're already long, um, whether they're thick, whether they're sparse, short, um, what have you. It makes a big difference in what kind of brush you use, and I did not know that. I'm just learning this. So I feel like this is giving me much more definition and lift and separation than I would normally get. So let's go ahead and those lower lashes as well. Okay, I think that really gives me a much more wide-eyed look. All right, let's try this one, which is the, um, this came in my nude kit, the nude look. This is the full volume nude look, definitive mascara. Okay, so let's try this one. And you'll notice this brush is completely different from the first one. It's Skinny in the middle, thick on the end, almost like a ball tip on the end kind of, and then thicker at the bottom. So very, very different. And yeah, I can really tell a difference when I'm applying it. I'm not getting as much separation and definition with this brush. And that's probably because of the way my natural lashes are. There we go. Yeah, I can tell a real difference when I look in the mirror. I don't know if you can tell a real difference, but I think this one gave me much better definition. Gave me better lift. Yeah, let's get some on the lower lashes here. There we go. All right, and let's move on to lips. I am going to try, um, again, I got two different lipsticks in my the Nudes kit. Um, one is a little more like a gloss. This one is a little more like a gloss. Um, it's shinier and wetter. This one is a little more like a lipstick. I think I'm going to try this one. This is called um, 
Rosie Nude, and it's uh, 03. And this is Velvety Matte Lip Color. This one is called Coral Nude, 02. And this is called Natural Shine Lip Gloss. So there's the difference. So I'm gonna try this one today. And I don't have a liner that goes this with this one yet, but let's see. Now again, you notice I didn't get clear to the corners because I don't like that on older women that have a lot of wrinkles, especially, I feel like we can end up looking like the Joker if we're not careful, if we get too close to the um, corners of our mouth. Now, the other one that I have, which is really similar, is this one that I tried before. It dries to a matte super fast, so let's see if this one does the same thing. Now, I don't have any setting products that are from Celeste yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my unique um, prime and set powder just to get everything set. I will say on this lip color when I wore it the other day, I did um, find it to be very long lasting, very long wearing. And in fact, when I did another video and I swatched it on my hand, I went to wash my hands later and I had to really scrub to get it off. It does not come off even with soap and water easy. I mean, it's not gonna just slide right off. I had to actually intend to take it off. So I really like that about it. It's not gonna come off the first time I drink coffee. All right, so there is my final look. This is my simple daytime look with Celeste. Um, so again, I use the two-in-one foundation and concealer. I use the trio of the bronzer, blush, and highlighter. I used um, two of the unique cream shadows and then this, um, it came in the nudes. Um, this is called ivory, although I don't think it looks very ivory. I used um, this rosy, rosy nude um, lip color. Um, and I used both mascaras. I used the falsies lash on this one, and the other one was the nude look definitive mascara on this side. So overall, I'm super pleased. Um, I'm on the prior video. I um, talked about the price point. I do know the mascaras are fifteen dollars. Um, I don't know the price points of all the others. I don't have them memorized yet. But most of the products are between ten and twenty dollars. Some of the individual, like the small eyeshadows, may actually be less. Um, or some of the like lipsticks may actually be less, but I don't think there was any makeup product that I saw that was more than $25. Maybe if it's a, a, um, a palette or something, it might've been 25. Now the skincare line is a little more expensive. Of course, skincare is more expensive. Um, they do have a hair care line. It was a little more expensive, um, and a fragrance line. Um, so you can check those out as well. Um, oh, and they do have a nail polish line too. I forgot about that. Um, and it was relatively um, uh, budget friendly as well. It wasn't it, you know, super pricey. Um, but as far as the makeup itself, I found it to be very, very budget friendly and yet still really good high quality makeup. It's not going to be as high end as Unique. It's not gonna have the skincare ingredients that you're gonna find maybe in Unique. You know, when I talk about the foundation, this one has a lot of skincare in it, has serum in it, um, but it's also probably twice the price of this. Um, does that make a big difference to you? If not, then this is probably gonna be your go-to. If having the skincare in there and having more um, ingredients in there is gonna be super important to you, then you know maybe the Unique is gonna be for you. Uh, it just depends on what you're looking for. If you're like me and the Leaping Bunny certified, which means that they never ever test on animals um, and they have to prove it, they have to be inspected and prove that is important, then the Celeste line is gonna be for you. The Celeste line is very clean, simple makeup. It does not have a lot of extra ingredients. 
doesn't have a lot of chemicals in it. It has a lot of all natural ingredients in it. Um, so a lot of the products are vegan friendly. Um, so if that's a big thing for you, you'll wanna check to look for that label at the bottom. You can see the bunny means Leaping Bunny certified. The little plant means it's vegan friendly. Um, so you can check that out as well. So this is my um, simple daytime look with Celesti. Look forward to more Celesti products coming up. Of course, you will still continue to see Unique in there as always. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a like and a share. Hit that bell so you know the next time I have a new video come out. As always, I appreciate you being here. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them down below or to message me. And as always, until next time, see ya.